Today we explore John 15 verse 16, a verse rich with meaning and profound implications for our lives as followers of Christ. This verse speaks to the heart of our identity and purpose in God's kingdom. Join us as we take a look at this powerful scripture and discover what it means to be chosen and appointed by Jesus. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you will ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Understanding the context. To fully appreciate John 15 verse 16, it's essential to understand its context. Jesus spoke these words to his disciples during the Last Supper, a time of intimate teaching and farewell before his crucifixion. In John 15, Jesus uses the metaphor of the vine and the branches to describe the relationship between himself and his followers. He emphasizes the importance of abiding in him to bear fruit, underscoring the vital connection we must maintain with him to live fruitful lives. Chosen by Christ The first part of John 15 verse 16 declares, You didn't choose me, but I chose you. This statement is profound and humbling. It reminds us that our relationship with Jesus is not initiated by us, but by him. This divine election emphasizes God's sovereignty and grace. Being chosen by Christ means we are part of his divine plan, called to fulfill his purposes. This calling is not based on our merit or worthiness, but solely on his love and grace. Appointed to bear fruit. Jesus goes on to say, I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. This appointment is a commissioning for a specific purpose, to bear lasting fruit. Bearing fruit in the biblical sense refers to living a life that reflects God's character and advances his kingdom. It encompasses the transformation of our character to resemble Christ and the impact we have on others through our actions, words, and witness. The fruit that remains signifies enduring results that have eternal significance. The role of prayer. The verse concludes with a promise related to prayer, that whatever you will ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This promise is tied to the context of bearing fruit. As we align our lives with God's purposes and abide in Christ, our prayers become more aligned with his will. Praying in Jesus' name means praying with his authority and according to his character and will. When our desires and requests reflect God's heart, we can be confident that he will answer our prayers and provide what we need to fulfill our calling. Living as chosen and appointed believers. Understanding that we are chosen and appointed by Christ shapes our identity and purpose. It instills in us a sense of belonging and mission. As chosen ones, we are loved and valued by God, and as appointed ones, we have a divine mandate to fulfill. This knowledge should inspire us to live intentionally, seeking to bear fruit in every area of our lives. We are called to reflect Christ's love, grace, and truth to the world around us, making a lasting impact for his kingdom. As we conclude this study on John 15 verse 16, let's reflect on the incredible truth that Jesus has chosen and appointed us for a divine purpose. This verse challenges us to embrace our identity in Christ and to live out our calling with dedication and faithfulness. May God's grace and peace be with you always. Amen.